Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today, I will be talking about self-hate. And this is something that happens with many individuals who just don't like themselves for any number of reasons. There are those things that you experience growing up, and sometimes they leave you feeling very angry, bitter, resentful, and for some they just never get over those feelings. Others may have once abhorred much about themselves and others, but realize that what's the use? It's fruitless. God doesn't want us to hate. He wants us to love not only others, but also appreciate what he has done for us, giving us life, praising him, worshiping him, and all of those wonderful things. But sometimes people cannot get past the hate. If they hate themselves, they're also hating on others. There is a revulsion that they have toward themselves. But sometimes this hatred is not readily seen by observers. Some people are very good at covering up how they truly feel. They might detest the way they look. They might be angry at the fact that they're not as smart, if you will, as others. They may be grieved about any number of things that is going on within them. Maybe God hasn't healed them from an illness. Maybe they are very mean because they have a disability. Whatever the case may be, a self-hate takes place. But if you are unaware of these things, you will get connected with folks like this or befriend them and not have a clue as to why over time they start hating on you. You will assume that because someone is dressed beautifully, that their hair is nice, that they have much going on, that no, she couldn't hate me. No, he wouldn't dare treat me any different. I mean, he loves himself, doesn't he? Sometimes we find these things out once we get involved in relationships. We start to notice that the name calling, the irritability, the impatience, the glares, the eye rolls, and the deep sighs are annoying, disrespectful, and sometimes leave you wondering what is going on with an individual that they want to treat me so meanly. Then when you start to pay closer attention and you do a little background research, interview some people that the person knows, you find out that there's some low self-esteem issues. You find out that there's some hate that is just below the surface of the so-called nice person. You find out that for years they have gone through much because people have hated on them and so now they are hating on others. Some will admit that they feel good when they treat others wickedly. They feel good knowing that they can say just about anything and that there is no recourse. These haters are not your friends. They do not love themselves or love others. These haters are filled with much demonic activity and unless they go through a deliverance process, they are not going to change. They can hold a Bible in their hands, sing sweetly, know how to act just like a Christian, but within feel very 
angry and all too ready to spread some hate when provoked. It is so sad to be a witness to people who self-hate. They will do many things with their hair, with their face, with their bodies that will make others look at them strangely. Observers don't know what to make of the person who constantly marks his or her skin. They don't know how to tolerate an individual who constantly changes his or her look. They don't know how to respond when a person constantly says something bad about his or herself. Sometimes the only thing that folks will do is encourage the person to speak positively. They may even offer to pray for them. But when one is rooted in self-hate, Those around them feel like their efforts after a while are in vain. Turn over every situation over to the Lord concerning a person who self-hates. Maybe you have some issues within that make you quite angry about yourself. Discipline yourself to improve upon whatever it is that upsets you. Do what you can to be around a positive support system. And most of all, pray to your Heavenly Father to remove self-hate from your mind, body, and spirit. I thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. And as always, to God be the glory.